Hello YouTubers, Zanavian here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going <clears> to <throat> give you guys a Kerbal Space Program tutorial on how to successfully get into orbit and how to change your apoapsis and your uh, periapsis relatively easy. Now, I have some friends that play this game and they really want to get into it and they just, you know, some of them can't figure out how to get into orbit and so this is for for them and for the rest of you guys that that just can't quite figure out how to get up there and if you just follow these simple steps um uh, I, I can't promise that you'll get up, get there but uh it's it's almost a relative certainty that uh you you're going to get there so with that said uh let's do it now i've already established a uh, a rocket design specifically for this tutorial it just gets us right up into orbit and has a little bit of fuel left to to uh, show you guys what's going on up there and uh, get our little Kerbinot Jebediah down to, to Kerbin. So uh, what I like to do is uh, I pull up my resources map here and uh, or uh, icon whatever you guys want to call that and then I'll go to my map view uh, and pull up my HUD. And the reason why is because this this nav ball here is like so important. This this is like this is the life of your astronaut and your rocket ship. Um, so pay very close attention to it and what your uh, what your ship's doing, and it, which is represented by uh, by this right here. So I'm going to assume that uh, you guys know the ASDW keys and the space bar to uh, to do your um, stages and whatnot. Uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to build rockets uh, if you guys want that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to throttle up all the way uh, just for a few seconds uh, to get the extra added thrust and get out of grav uh, get out of the gravity. I'm also going to turn my SAS on and uh, we're ready to go. So away we go. We're zooming up and I'm going to throttle way back on the engine. And uh, let these rockets just do the work. These uh, solid booster <clears throat> rockets there. So, now usually what I do is once I get up to about 150 or 2,000 meters, uh, or 100 meters or uh, 100 meters a second, I will, uh, or a thousand, I'm sorry, 1,000 meters and 100 meters a second, somewhere around there, um, I will turn it to this little uh, mark here. Uh, it's 10 degree mark. I like to keep my north facing down. That way, I can just hit the the uh, A and D keys left or right uh, to move my ship relatively easy. Uh, as soon as we get rid of those, we'll power up the engines and really get cooking. Get rid of those guys. Now we're uh, about twelve thousand meters. Uh, you can do it around ten if you like. I go to about the 50 degree mark. Oh shoot, gotta turn my RCS on there. Um, and that should be it right there. Perfect. Now, so if you just follow those little, uh, that, that little simple um, set of instructions right there when you're lifting off, uh, you're on your way to getting well into orbit. Um, and as you can see, we're already cruising. Our apoapsis here, which is the highest point of our orbit, is already cruising. Um, almost out of fuel here, so we need to switch back and get rid of those. Now, I like to, to stop. In, in order to get myself in orbit, what I do is I, uh, I, I stop my apoapsis. Basically, I just turn my engines off. And in order to be able to do that, you have to have this HUD up. But I'll stop it at about 110, right about there. And then I come in and I uh, add a maneuver here. Now this is, this is really important. Uh, now, now this one will increase your apoapsis and this one will decrease uh, your periapsis. Um, so you don't want to decrease your periapsis. It, it, basically they, they work in opposite. So if you want to go lower you go this way, you want to go higher you go this way. So we want to increase our orbit so we just drag that over just like that, and the orange is where it's uh, is where our uh, um, projected orbit or um, path will be. So now that that's set, <clears throat> just click off of that, uh, 
get rid of our SAS there. We don't want that on. We're maneuvering around, and we got to maneuver around in our nav ball until we find this this little blue guy right here. And we want to be uh, as dead on to him as we can. Right? That's perfect. Okay. Now, once we set that uh, that maneuver uh, waypoint up. Uh, you have an established, or I'm sorry, established, estimated burn time, which is 1 minute and 25 seconds. Um, now, usually what I like to do is, is sometimes I'll split it out kind of evenly. Uh, so we'll, we'll go down to about, oh, say 30 seconds. So I'll speed it up and get to about, yeah, well, I just overshot it a little bit, but that's all right. You get the, you get the idea. Either way, it's going to work. You can go all the way down until, um, until it says zero and start your burn, which is, I think, actually how you're supposed to do it. But when I'm setting up an orbit, some, you know, sometimes it's better to uh, start before your Apple Apsis, especially if that's where you put your waypoint, which is, that's what we did. Uh, but it's not going to hurt us in the long run, because this is a really lightweight vehicle. Uh, and weight has a lot, a lot to do uh, with getting out of orbit and the physics uh, involved in this game. All right. You might be thinking, yeah, right, well, you're, you're some smart guy that knows, uh, you know, all this stuff. You're probably some rocket scientist. No, I'm just some gamer. I, I love space. I love this game. It took me about eight months to learn how to play this game. And then after I figured out how to build the rockets and get into orbit, uh, I, I just can't put it down. Um, and I couldn't wait for the career mode, and I've been playing the career mode, and, you know, I, I just love this game. It's it's an awesome game. I'm trying to get my son uh, to play it, and he's seven, and uh, he just he loves the idea, but it's just too boring for him. Oh, you know what? We ran out of fuel because I'm sitting there talking on, but that's right. We're, we'll still make it out of here. I think. Yeah, we're at 103 altitude there. Kind of goofed that up a little, but. As you can see, it'll it, the periapsis will still come out there. It's a little oblong, and actually that'll kind of work out for this demonstration too, because I wanted to show you how you can increase and decrease your periapsis. So if you come over here, and you notice the 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 apoapsis is way out there, and your periapsis is about 92. So now what I want to do is I want to make this uh, circular. Um, so. Now, if I do this, it's going to raise it way out. We don't want to do that. We want to make it circular. So we decrease the periapsis. And since we're at the periapsis when we put the waypoint on there and we decrease the periapsis, it's going to decrease the apoapsis until it almost starts to turn. And you get it to where it's, see where it's starting to turn, and it wants to flip around like that. And that means they're almost equal. So it's 92,000 meters, and then that's 93,000 meters. That's, that's almost a perfectly circular orbit. So we come down here, <clears throat> and uh, I take off my SAS, and then just maneuver over uh, until I get to my waypoint right there. Turn my SAS back on. Um, yeah, and then just wait for your node to burn. Now, <clears throat> if you guys get going, and you're like way off, and you're like cruising way around, you're like, oh my gosh, how do I stop this? Just speed it up and then speed it back down really quick and it just everything stops so <laughs> that's uh I, I kinda learned that the hard way ah, there we go right there so I'll just speed it back up a little bit and get all the way to right node Which is right here. And then as soon as we get there, we'll start to burn. And this guy will start to come down really quick. And they switch. And you just cut your engines. Come over to your maneuver point there. And there you go. You got 87 and 94. It's pretty circular. Uh, so that's how you increase and decrease your... Uh, apoapsis and things like that. Now, I recommend if you want like a, to put a space station or refueling station, I would recommend putting it at about 100,000 meters. Um, it's just really easy to get to and dock with. Um, so, that's about... Oh, oh, no, I wanted to take you guys down. So, 
Let's let's do that on the uh, on this side here, where it's still daylight. So we'll just come over here at a waypoint, and what I'm doing is decreasing the periapsis all the way down, like that, and then we'll and then we'll find the uh, oop, there it is. can't have a Kerbal YouTube episode without uh, getting your Kerbal back safely, so I, I would have never heard the end of that. People would have been yelling and screaming and complaining, oh my gosh, what are you doing, what are you doing, you left your guy up there. Alright, so this doesn't have to be perfect because all we're doing is just going back down into the, into the atmosphere, so you, you know, as long as you're on your... Um, retrograde marker then uh, you're good to go and you're probably thinking well what the hell is a retrograde marker well I get enough subscribers or likes on this video and uh, comments on what I should do for the next one you know I'll, uh, I'll show you guys but this was just a video for my friends so I hope everybody likes it now we've got our orbit down far enough let's go back in here to our guy and he's just cruising along speed this up and we'll let you go any further once you enter the atmosphere you can't uh, physically time warp anymore but trick is it is that if you uh, shift and then you know speed it up you can and you just gotta cut your engine off if you got an engine on but we'll warp this up that way you guys can see that my Kerbinaut made it home safely. Oh, he's starting to flare around wildly. I love the effects that they've got going on. They're, they're probably going to add so much in this game. Um, you know, I, I can't wait. Actually, I might not get my guy back safely. Uh-oh. Pop that guy away. Hopefully, uh, we'll have time to parachute. Oh, God. I don't think we're going to. This is going to be close, guys. Wow, look at that. Actually made it. <laughs> that, that looked like it was going to be really close. I was getting kind of scared there. So, yep, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Navian. I uh, hope to have more videos out for you. And, uh, well, see you next time.